Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This video is regarding best paraphrasing tools that you can use to avoid plagiarism in your assignments. The first AI tool that I will use is Hicks AI Humanizer. I will search this and I will scroll down and here you can see the free bypass AI. So I would use this. I have already signed up by my email and creating a password. So you can use it for free just using your email ID or your Facebook account and creating a password. So I will show you how it works. I will just copy some data just to show you. This is Statista which I'm using and the topic is air pollution worldwide. So I will just uh, copy first paragraph, just highlight it, use shortcut key control C and move on to this tab. It will be control V would be paste and hit humanize. It will take a while and it will paraphrase stuff for you. And the best part is it will show you what is AI generated data. For example, here you can see the yellow pop up note. The output content is 85% likely to be human written, right? Which means 15% is still AI written and Turnitin or other websites where we upload our assignments can figure out that this data has been copied from some website. So to avoid that, what we can do further is, I will just copy this. And the one best part about this AI tool is, it keeps the idea same, right? It will not change the base idea, just will paraphrase or eliminate some words so that it can make the data AI free, right? Humanized data. So I will just copy this paraphrased data and I will move to another paraphrasing tool, which is known as Quillbot, as you can see. So I will paste this, this data here. Control V, I have used the shortcut. And here's the button you can use paraphrase. So with this paraphrasing tool Quillbot, the problem is sometimes the idea does not matches when it is paraphrased. It does not actually matches what we have written before paraphrasing, right? So what you can do is you can just read it. If it makes sense, you can copy the data. Otherwise, you can hit paraphrase again and it will give you another wording for the same idea. If this looks good to you, then you can copy this. Otherwise, you can paraphrase it again. So it gives you three chances. To paraphrase the same data. Now what you can do is just copy paste this paraphrased thing and paste it in your assignment and don't forget to watch my video for citation and references in APA style that can help you to make assignments. I hope this video was helpful and one more tip I can give you about Quillbot is if you are unable to use it after 5 to 10 attempts it just logs and asks for your login. So what you can do is uh, open the new tab and you can hit control H which will show you your history so what you can do is you can just click this and delete it when you will delete it it will automatically gives you access for the paraphrasing tool which is Quillbot again I hope this video was helpful and you can make most of it thank you for watching